Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part two of my title case series where we're converting movie titles, book titles, song titles, whatever, into proper title case. Of course, this is part two, so if you haven't watched part one yet, go get out of here. Go watch part one, then come on back. All right, so yesterday we built or started building our title case function. We converted the title to proper case. We split up the words into an array, an array, whatever you want to call it. And then we displayed what's in there, right? And we're going to say uh, title case and uh, Superman, uh, the movie, like that. And it got Superman, the movie. Now, the problem we got now is we got to look to see if the is in that table that we created over here, right? The, where is it? The small word T and the, if it shows up, there it is, then don't capitalize it. All right, so that's the challenge for today. So back in the code editor, let me turn this off for just a minute. All right, so instead of just debug printing that, we set aside a variable for it, cur word, current word. Let's say current word equals that, okay? Now, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to look up that current word in the small table. So let's make another ID out here. Just uh, we'll call it small word ID as a long. We're going to try and look it up. Okay, so small word ID equals NZ, which handles the null case, right? D lookup. What are we looking up? The small word ID from the small word table where the small word equals whatever that current word is. All right, now normally you'd think you can do this, right? But you got to remember, it's a string value, so you got to put it inside of double, double quotes. Double, double quotes there. And double, 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 double quotes there. Why? Because this turns into a set of double quotes inside the string. And so does that. But you have to put that after cur word. I got a whole separate video on double double quotes. If this is confusing, I'll put a link down below. I don't like using single quotes in here for several different reasons, and I explain why in that video. All right, but we're not done because DLOOKUP might return a null value if that word does not exist, and we expect it won't. Most words won't. So if that's the case, comma zero says return a zero if the word doesn't exist. Okay. So now I want to say, well, if the uh, small word ID is greater than zero, in other words, it returned a valid ID, right? Then the word is in the small word list, lowercase it, right? So now we're going to say, that we're gonna change the word in the array. So word array L, the current word that we're on, equals L case cur word. Or you could say L case of word array L, whatever you want to do. Okay? And then end if. And that should handle that. Now all we have to do is put together the array back into a string down here and then return it. Now, just like there is a split function, there's also a join function. So now we can say the name of our function, our return value, title case, equals join word array with spaces, right? Put back together into a string. And that will do it for now. There's one more thing we got to do. That's, that's good enough for now for us to test it. Ready? Save it. And now we're actually, we actually have enough here to return the value so we don't have to use the debug window anymore. We can actually come out here and check our query. Let's see, movie queue, ready, go. Oh, look at that. It looks pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, right? Of the over here is fine, the there is fine, okay. One thing we didn't take into consideration, and that's the one thing I said we still have to do, is the first word. If it's the first word, leave it capitalized. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we know if we're at the first word because this is an array of words, right? 
So if L is zero, just don't do that. Leave it capitalized. In fact, we don't even have to do the DLOOKUP, which will speed things up. We can put it right here. If L is greater than zero, then, right, don't, uh, don't, lower, uh, don't replace first word. So if it's the Lord of the Rings, we'll just tab all that in, right? And if. Save it. Always good to throw in a debug compile once in a while, right? That's my new, that's my new catchphrase. Debug compile once in a while. All right, moving Q, boom. There we go. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now this will handle most movie titles or book titles, but not all of them. There are still some exceptions if you want to make this function even better. For example, Lord of the Rings is not the title of the movie. It's the title of the series. The actual title would be something like The Lord of the Rings, colon, The Two, oh, we'll just do all other case, The Two Towers. And look what happens. Right? That the is lowercase, even though it's in the middle of the title. Right? The, whole, the, the proper one left it, but it didn't do these ones. So that's an exception. We have to say there are certain delimiters in the middle of the string, colons, periods, dashes, right? That might say, hey, then don't capitalize the next word. How about something like this? Star Trek Turk, Star Trek, <laughs> Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan, like that. That's how it should be. And look what happens. It, it, it's hard to see me zoom in. See, it gives you that because it doesn't understand that Roman numerals should be kept capitalized. So that's another exception we'd have to program it. This is my favorite movie. If anybody ever asked you what my favorite movie is, that's my favorite movie of all time. All time. The best movie ever made. <laughs> How about uh, the FBI files? Well, that didn't come out right. So we need a list of acronyms. Right. Well, that's FBI is, is technically not an acronym. Right. Uh, like NASA Discovery. Uh, 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 what was it? NASA Discovery Films or whatever it was. Right. That, that's another one. Now, NASA is an acronym. FBI is not an acronym. You don't say FBI. An acronym is said as a word. Right. FBI is called an initialism. That's a little something like, like, like CIA is an initialism. Anyways, so we got some other exceptions that we can program into our function to take care of. They're a little more complicated. And so because of that, we will talk about that in the extended cut for the members. We'll cover delimiters like those colons or dashes. We'll talk about Roman numerals, acronyms, and basically we'll make a, 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 another table with a list of items that you don't want to be lowercase, right? You put all your acronyms, your Roman numerals and stuff in there. So we'll look those up as well. So that's all covered in the extended cut for the members, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And of course, gold members get access to the code vault and you can download the databases that I build in these tech help videos and everybody gets free classes. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. Speaking of a lot of fun, if you don't want to be a member, you can still come and check out some of my other courses. I got tons and tons of developer lessons on my website. I mentioned earlier developer 21. In that class, we cover all kinds of stuff, nested subforms, side-by-side subforms, arrays, parent breadcrumbs, all kinds of cool stuff. We make little lists like this where you can have, uh, it's just it's all kinds of cool stuff in, in my developer classes. So come and check it out. You'll find links to this down below. But that is going to do it for your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject, 
and I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just Access. These are the full-length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a Diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.